Today, I'm going to show you how to upload images to Imager with Node.js and the process of using it as a free image CDN. Let's start. First of all, the Imager Node package is really easy to use. Although there are other great solutions that are still free like ImageKit.io or Data Space by Data, I would still recommend using something like Imager as it's a great starting point for your personal and open source projects. I'd recommend using something like ImageKit.io or Dataspace for your commercial site projects. Before we actually start coding, I'll quickly explain what we're trying to do. First, we upload our image to the server with the help of a form on the client side that sends a post request to the server. Once we save the image onto our server, we then use the Imager npm package to upload it to Imager which returns us the uploaded image URL. Then, we can safely delete the uploaded image from our server as we get the URL directly from Imager. Now, let's start coding. So yeah, I'm in a VS Code window right now, so let's just initialize our npm like node environment with npm in it dash y and then let's just in, uh, install our packages we need which is basically express obviously that's the framework we're using uh, and imager for the file upload uh, to imager and yeah and the third package is actually called express dash file upload so yeah this these are the three main packages we're going to be needing we're also will use fs which is actually inbuilt in express itself so that won't be an issue and yeah we're actually using express dash file upload for actually uploading our file to the server with with the post requests right so we can also use something like malter to actually validate a file upload but since this is just a, a test case i'm just using this simple package so yeah uh, i'm just waiting for all of them to install so yeah uh, all the files and packages installed so let's just create an index.js and start coding first of all we we in initialize express with const express require express and then we you i'll initialize imager with that and then let's do the file upload so i'll name it file and with the caps lock upload and then yeah this is basically all the initialization we need and let's just set up everything const app equals express and then app dot use file upload and more stuff like the view engine we're actually also gonna be using ejs just for like the basic file uploads and stuff like that so app dot set view engine is vgs and then we set the folder which is views views i'll just remove the dots because it's annoying and yeah let's just create a folder called views and also install ejs i guess so npm i ejs mm -hmm. so yeah like that installed and yeah also as we are doing dealing with like post requests and stuff like that we also need to initialize the body parser as well to get the body so i'm just gonna do app dot use uh, express dot url encoded extended is actually should be false here so and after that we're going to do app dot use uh, express dot uh, json that's not really needed but i feel that's a good practice to get used to right so yeah and let's just do a get request just to test whether everything's working and then uh, okay this is annoying <laughs> and yeah rest dot send hi uh, and then we listen on port app dot listen port 3000 and then we start off like the node server and i'm using nodemon here so that it refreshes every time i save and yeah let's just open nodemon here and if i refresh it's working so as you can see like our basic server setup is done and now let's focus on like the initial image upload thing so i'm actually uploaded a repl here this is basically you can copy the code from it just to like see how to upload an image i'm using a css framework called balma so 
what it basically does is we're using a form called uh, uh, we're just using like uh, the eng type of multi part slash form data that's the most important part of it and then we're uploading it to slash upload as a post request so uh, i think these three attributes are the most important for our form right there and in the input we're also dealing with the type of file and then we just named it as sample file just for the example here and yeah this is basically a label for it and then we use the submit button to submit the post request so yeah i felt i think it's pretty clear and simple to understand right so i'm just going to copy all of this and then create a one second and then create an actually create a index.ejs file so index.ejs and then we paste all the code in so yeah like just as i said earlier it has uh, the action attribute slash upload with the post and this is this i feel is the most important part of the form attribute here and then we have basic type of file here and then we have a submit form so yeah pretty obvious so let's just render the file here rest dot render index let's just put ejs for the safe just to be safe and if we refresh voila we have our image upload thing right over here so now that we've rendered our index.js file at the base url we can now work on doing the slash uploads file uh, to get the file in our server and then upload it to imager later so first of all let's just do an app dot post at slash uploads and then we do an arrow function or a normal function but i'm just doing an arrow function right here uh, with request response and then we need to first verify if a file is actually uploaded we do that with the object request.file so if there's no object uh, called request.files or if the object is empty or the object property uh, we can basically send a status of that no files were uploaded so we can basically use this block of code recommended by github copilot to check whether any file is uploaded so this is basically a measure to make sure that actually files are uploaded to or images that are uploaded to our server so that we can later upload it to imager so now that we've actually verified it we can then uh, declare our variable so the first one is called sample file which is basically request dot files dot sample file so we're using the name sample file because we mentioned it here in in the name of the input right so that's what we're doing and then we'll set the path to it so let upload path upload path uh, equals to underscore underscore directory uh, dire, dire name it's basically the directory of the current server and then we do slash upload slash and then we put the sample file dot name so this is the request dot files dot sample dot name so sample file dot name and then we need to actually create another folder called uploads as well i created it off screen but you, it's basically uh, an upload file so now we uh, basically declared all the variables and then we actually upload the uh, upload the post request data file to the uploads folder so that we can later upload it to imager and then delete it so for that what we need to do is do sample file dot mv and then we put the upload path here upload path and then there's a callback for it which function with the term error and then what we need to do is check for any errors if there's any error we just send error dot status of 500 and then send the error and yeah so now that we've actually done this it basically saves the uh, image file into the uploads folder so let's just check it out i guess so let's just uh, reload this page and then i'm gonna pick a file so we have our trusty ben here and then if we upload uh why can't it post slash upload oh okay okay it's slash upload right so it's just slash upload i use slash so let's just go back refresh and then pick on pick the same photo and then upload so we can see like the file actually getting uploaded to our uploads folder right so what we do is take this uploads uh, folder and we take the file 
and then we upload it to imager and then delete the file from the uploads folder so that we can save storage and get the link from imager so now that that's done what we can do is actually uh, upload it to imager which we're going to do right now so the command we're going to use is called imager dot upload upload file with the file pa upload path so it's basically upload path upload path and then we can do dot then uh, this is basically a promise and then we can name our object I'm just gonna put it URL uh, sorry my bad <laughs> my I suck at spellings object and then this is basically an arrow function so you can do this uh, and then here is where we're going to actually use a new package called FS so as I mentioned earlier you just need to do something called FS dot unlink uh, unlink sync this basically removes the upload path file like the uh, the file right here after it gets uploaded to imager so what you can basically do is remove the file and then we'll get the link right so this basically this line basically removes the this file right here and uploads as you can see uh, I, I saved it so it reloaded and de it deleted the file so yeah now let's just uh, actually get the object and we'll eventually get the link right so i'm just gonna do this dot send url object and let's just first see what what it actually gives so let's go back and refresh and then we'll pick, pick our ben right here and then upload we should probably get the uh, object that images shares with no error so as you can see there's no error and then we get the link so you can see the link right here which you can use in your in your web app or something like that for like some sort of like a gravatar for your own web page as you can see this is served by imager and if you go back to our imager tutorial there should be no uh, there should be no file at the uploads folder so yeah that's basically everything it now let's just uh, make it better i guess so yeah after a few minor errors what i basically did is create another ejs file called uploaded and yeah like uh, i i just took the link parameter from the object and then served it with ejs right over here and then i used the link attribute to actually get the link right so as you can see you can see the picture right here that's getting served with the src of link and then you can actually see the link so you can basically do this and look at the link as you can see it gets uh, like it doesn't get like uh, uploaded by anyone it's just anonymous so that's pretty cool as well so yeah that's basically it now you can finally build cool stuff with imager and while you're doing that you can also binge watch this devlog playlist about my journey of building a startup see you there